History truly does live here at Columbia. Well, a lot of our parents here at Columbia have actually gone to Columbia, so we have a lot of alumni. So they choose to bring their kids here, which is fabulous. Every teacher here, every staff member really cares about our students and want to make sure that our students are ready for the real world. You know, a hundred years of opportunities that we provided for the community, for our students to excel and to, you know, give them opportunities for their careers and um, just providing them an education. A lot of leaders start here. Um, just by looking at the last uh, two superintendents for the school district, started as principals here. So th it's, it's kind of like this whole leadership process that begins here and goes out into the community. Columbia is a jewel and a gem in the city of Almani. There's a passion in every teacher, every staff, every person, because these children are our future. And it just gets better and better every year. The staff have a heart and passion for meeting the needs of students, meeting their academic needs, and being connected to the community, being connected to our neighborhoods. Our families hand over their kids uh, and knowing that their kids are gonna get the best type of education at this school. It's the starting point for the future presidents, for the future doctor, engineers. I think it's the place where knowledge begins. I just really feel that it has changed in a way where it's become a more um, college-minded, uh, preparing students for college, for higher education, giving students equal access to education. But we've also, with that in mind, kept, kept some values that I just really feel uh, they've been established over time and with tradition. It's really opened up a whole different mindset and shifting um, how our students think about their own personal learning and really having them reflect on what they're learning um, and what's their path to get better at something that they want to work on. I believe it's made our students more independent, more uh, responsible for their actions, and I just feel like it's really shaping the students into the type of people we want in our communities. The students are taking more of an active role in the decisions that um, are made here at the school, and they kind of are, are shaping the environment and shaping some of the, um, the outcomes here. We have already been teaching leadership skills for the past hundred years, but now we have a vocabulary, we have words that we can actually use that describe what we've already been teaching. So a hundred years to me means that this school has seen a lot of history take place around it as it's evolved to what it is today. Uh, I know that this is the first elementary school west of the Mississippi. It's really evolved to uh, the great school that it is today. You've seen a lot of change, a lot of progression, you know, kids coming and going, where I even run into students now that are adults with their own families. We are hard, we are, we are good listeners and at Kalinga School, we are hard workers. I've never been to a school or seen a school that's over a hundred, it's really interesting. It's like shocking how, how much this school has grown because they've put murals of how the school first looked in its first year up and it's shocking how much the school has like grown, how much it's changed since the first build and I'm just glad that I'm, be, I'm here to be able to experience it. Columbia's home. Um, I had the choice, like everybody else does, I came home, right? As I feel like when I'm here, I'm back to my five-year-old self and I don't see myself anywhere else. A hundred years is so impactful because one year is impactful. One month is impactful, one day, one hour. So every minute we spend with these kids is such a big deal. Columbia School students would describe Columbia as a safe place where they come to school and they feel loved. They feel accepted and someplace where they could call home.